uh, so let's get into episode three. Crane is creep. Right, totally incriminating evidence, so it's probably not him. Exactly. <laughs> but the preview for this episode, we saw some very interesting things, so... I'm, uh, I'm curious where this is gonna go. I don't- I have a feeling he's not totally innocent. Um... I don't think he- it's too obvious, you know, it's too obvious, like, they show us a, a picture of him you know, over the body, um, so it's like, it can't be him, you know, but then, but then we saw him kind of overreacting in, in the trailer for this episode, so it's like, I don't think, I don't think he's 100% innocent, but I don't think that he was the one that killed them. Yeah, it's probably another person with a glamour, maybe someone who wanted to set him up or something. You got popcorn and coffee, all right. <laughs> and uh, please, absolutely no spoilers for anything from, you know, anything that we haven't played yet. I've never played this before. I have no idea what's coming. Please, no spoilers. Mods, please feel free to purge away if there are uh, any major spoilers um, so that nothing's ruined. All right. Episode three, A Crooked Mile. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. <laughs> she I just want like you to be careful. Alive. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Open arms. Oh my god. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Da -da -da. and stuff that motherfucking piece of shit crane Ugh. god you think you know a person bigby you have to tell her i know what's going on what did you find up there you know other than the not now i have a right to know if my wife is honey <laughs> your wife is innocent shit. calm Crane's down been... ah. oh, bigby calm down Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right uh oh, now. he was They're just at the out. trip trap. Big B. Beauty and Beast are gonna have some problems. Wait. What? Snow's. Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just. Please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. <laughs> the little mermaid, you mean the little hooker. 
<laughs> we know that this game knows that we know that Crane is not quite innocent, but then the game knows this too. I know, right? I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. The heck? Oh, this is the uh, funeral. Okay. We're thinking of like burn her body or something, because that was like what trolls do. Here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. She's like, not now, dude. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that, uh, that the pain of I'm losing her, Lily so. will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that, well, that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. You were a she big, be bright, shining star and in this of and town. And I How she carried a torch for the old ways, Ran. for tradition, for... Pageantry. Just reading all the notes. And most of all, now you will never die from how indifference. Lily or lead loved, a tedious life. Dearly loved Goodbye, her friends sweetheart. and family. Thanks for she everything. She loved being around them. Vivian. In good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in I'll my miss heart worrying about that you. she would have liked to I'll be I'll miss our fights. And I'll now miss we'll you. have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Offering of whiskey. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show her He did throw her down the witching here. well? After you lie, and you say you need her for evidence. Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Bigby could do anything about it. I'm telling he you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Holly gonna be okay. Well, I have to say Crane's a prick. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? Is he hiding? We actually agree on something. <laughs> Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Thank you, Why Talos. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Hi, Bello. This better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... You know. 
this creepy. Is, I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. Uh. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I thought... I thought you should be the first to know. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby... I was just gonna say show her the picture! Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. We'd get kicked I'll show her out the picture. of Peopletown for messing all of this up so badly. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? <laughs> I can't tell. Did you find anything? No. It was Crane's room. But you knew that already, right? Nerissa! Yeah, um... Uh, coming! She did arrange the massages. I have pictures if you have trouble picturing it. <laughs> Constable. Wait hey, Alex. Easy now, girl. Oh, come on. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. I tell you to run, but it won't do any good. Just make it more fun for me. What are you dreaming about? You ain't a fast enough pup to prevent me from emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over there. I'm still hurting, you know, Jeez. from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Oh, Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not- What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? Settle down, settle down now. Yeah, everyone just stay where you are, nice and natural. I'm not making any deal with you, so just get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Nah. Nah. Ah! Troll time! What yeah. did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? Think you motherfucker can come here uninvited? You think you <gasps> can just fucking interrupt Lily's No, don't shoot him, please! Oh, down, oh God! It's just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move! Yeah, listen to your lady, love. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Oh god, no. Please, no, 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 no! I got it, dumb. Punch him! Oh no! Oh damn! 
Oh, it, it, oh, that's a white. <laughs> Total party kill. Wait, but they might live through that, right? Maybe? Maybe? No? Maybe? She's fine! She's but a flesh wound! We know that Fable's- I mean, Lawrence got shot almost through the heart. Actually, almost. If they shot them through the heart, they might have died. Uh, oh no! Never go full troll. Never go full troll. Oh no, the mirror's already shattered. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. <clears throat> Reynolds, thank you. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. I can't take it easy. I have to... I have to find Crane. Bigby? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. He'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a Yay! dose of juniper and spring water. They're okay. Just remember what I Told said. You. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial Eat roof. Eat more chicken? Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. <laughs> Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. Yay, Buffkin! And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But, I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... it's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... he was a conniver, a... a coward, a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. That's why you wear gloves, dude. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just can't fucking stand that they got away. We'll catch up to them, Bigby. You did enough. <laughs> Flying alcoholic monkey dude is my spirit Can animal. I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Why? What's on your mind? 
It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like... Like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Well, yeah, because it's it gives excitement. you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Of course, that's a big piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. Of course. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his Ice things, bag. his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. It's true. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Kazor, hello. The mirror was kind of useless anyway. Uh, still more helpful than... I mean, then we have no freaking clue where he is. I'm going to look at the Book of Fables here. There were some entries I forgot to read last time. Let's see. This kind of gives you a little bit more insight. Oh, here we go. More, these ones are ones I didn't read. Georgie Porgy, the pimp. Georgie runs the Puddin' and Pie, a strip club that also caters to the unmentionable desires of fable ten citizens. Excuse me. He has tried just about everything there is to try in pursuit of worldly pleasures, but none of it satisfies him for long. He does seem to enjoy pushing people's buttons. He takes pride in his nightclub and doesn't react well to anyone meddling in his affairs. Clever Hans, the bouncer janitor handyman. Clever Hans always does exactly as he's told. However, he often misunderstands his instructions and ends up hurting himself or behaving oddly, as in the case of his noted fable, where he threw sheep's eyes at his wife. Unsurprisingly, she left him, and now Hans works as a bouncer at Georgie's, night Georgie's club. He hopes to dance on stage one day, but for now he's content sweeping up and making sure the crowd doesn't get out of hand. Nerissa, the Little Mermaid. Nerissa's story never had a happy ending. She's known as the Little Mermaid, the young girl who gave up her tail for a pair of legs in the hopes of winning the heart of a handsome prince. When he married a princess instead, Nerissa was left heartbroken. She made the journey to the mundane world, hoping for a better life. Now she dances at the pudding and pie, but each step she takes feels like walking on shards of glass. She has very little left, but finds some comfort in the company of her fellow dancers. That's so sad. Troll funeral rites. The gaze of great mother death is always upon us. Beneath her affectionate eye, we fight our battles. We nurse our wounds, we shout our victories, we endure our sorrows. And when we fall, she is there. Her embrace is the silence of the mountain, the heavy piece of the stone. Approximately translated. A troll funeral is a sacred ritual passed down by or oral traditions from troll mother to son. It begins at sunset with the creation of the cairn, a small pile of stones to represent the many generations of trolls that have traveled and died before them, the foundation upon which the living stand. Weapons are divided amongst the trolls' closest comrades. The body and the rest of their possessions are burned, and though each viewer must speak to the life of the lost, the eulogy's candor would make a mundi blush. Vivian, Georgie's girl. Much of Vivian's past is unknown since she prefers not to talk about her life back in the homelands. She wanted to start fresh in Fable Town, but she finds herself working for Georgie at the Pudding and Pie. It's not a terrible life. Georgie took a liking to Vivian, so he doesn't make her take jobs at the open arms. Instead, she plays hostess and helps Georgie ensure complete customer satisfaction. Dr. Swinehart, the army surgeon. Dr. Swinehart is the resident Fable Town physician, so skilled in the art of instrumental surgery that he can safely operate on himself. He served as an army medic for many years, sometimes using his talents to impress the locals. He currently runs the special research section of the Knights of Malta Hospital, so named to discourage people for investigating what is actually a reserved Fables-focused health facility. 
Okay. I missed a couple. I missed one in episode one, and I missed uh, another one in episode two. Yeah, Disney stories have the happy endings. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? His witch? Yes, is that the it black market like the one he got glamour his person? snow glamours from. Hmm. Yeah. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Aw, oh, that little monkey smile. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. Yeah, but he's a feeble old man. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. It's a big shard of glass he took. Rub the lamp. He's got a piece in his hand. Did you see that? Anything else? Anything else? That storybook. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. Well, that's pretty incredible. Yeah, I did. I want to know. I think it's better if you don't know. Don't coddle me, okay? I've seen more than you know. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Not the picture I showed you. What else is there? Come on, let's keep looking. Why would you leave that key? Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. The, the farm wants extra funding. Doesn't really help us here. Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment, and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross, and I'd really like it if you fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. Doesn't really help us. This is from Mr. Toad. <laughs> Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Did Tom. Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. He did work on some prostitutes. Break it. Yeah. Dr. Eagles, hello. Happy Saturday to you. Good to see you. There's oh. a page here that was torn out. There is. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. 
Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! <laughs> and I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? The dull pervert! I tried this to, isn't but... your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He because took a piece of the mirror said. so he can't use <clears throat> it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. Who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, Jeez. I've been doing that unofficially for years Unofficially now. is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Yeah. Beard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well, actually do some work. Excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Uh, the it doesn't matter what we they please know. just take them After out. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The trip trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. This dude I is very able. Anymore. Let him go you and just do stuff. You can't go up there alone, alright? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. We can't just let Bluebeard oh, run a mock in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find you the witch. You think he's in cahoots with Crane? Since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. He's gonna go Never hide something. anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. So... Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Oh, man. Oh, no. Find the witch. Oh, no. 
Ugh, okay. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Oh, man. There's three things? There's three of us? Though Snow said she's gonna stay here. Right? Did I, did I interpret that right? He said wherever I go, Bluebeard's going to the other one, but there's three choices. So if we go to Holly's bar, we can look through her stuff and see if we... We have to find the witch. I think we should go to Crane's apartment. I think that's definitely going to be the most interesting. Dee's office could have anything. I mean, I do think they're working with Crane. Holly's bar, I mean, we might find something about the witch, but that's kind of... That's... I think that's the least, that's the lightest, like, that's that's the weakest lead. I think we should go to Crane's apartment. Bluebeard is a snazzy dresser. Yeah, I don't know why Snow can't go and supervise Bluebeard. She's all like, I gotta stay here and do work. Screw the work. Maybe Bluebeard's framing Crane. Hmm. Yeah, Bluebeard is definitely suspicious as well. If you let Bluebeard go to Crane, will the twins let you off? Oh. Well, they did tell- they- I don't care what they said. I know they said, like, you need to leave, um... The, the, the Tweedledee and Tweedledum told me to leave Crane alone. I, I don't give a crap. <laughs> I really don't give a crap about their warning. I'm Crane's coming to Crane's apartment. right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. I mean, he had Crane's incriminating evidence number is in his desk. What's going to be Let in his apartment? Find. I hope you know what you're doing. I think that's BS. That Snow is like, I'm going to stay here and answer the phones. Screw the phones, let them ring. Okay, here we go. Is that here? He's got the penthouse. Oh, there's a door open. This is Briar Rose's place. Oh, Briar Rose. Kate Rushbeard. No said Crane lives in 1903. And the door's open? Why is the door open? That's really odd. Hi, Sandfist. Happy Saturday. Screw the work. Fable Town isn't going to run itself, Peachy. It can for one day while we try and catch this possible murderer. Anyone in there? Nope. Crane? One hour and 55 minutes left? Ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> He's a bust of himself. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. Same brand we found in the open arms. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Math, science, history. I had to guess. This shit didn't work. <laughs> he had a joy of lovemaking book. It's 
It's actually a pretty cool photo. That's the door. Let's go over here. Really? Solera, hello! It's been a while. How are you? Aw, thank you, Sandvist. Bedroom door. Kick it open! Someone in there? Kick it. Kick it open. <laughs> oh, you... Well, there's gotta be an easier you way. You use your freaking bum shoulder? That was not... Okay, of course it's locked. Damn it. Uh, gotta be a, a key or something, right? Ah, go, go, full wolf! Tear down the door. There's gotta be something else. Oh, here we go. Can we go over here? Teach in the old days. Hmm. Oh, no, don't tell me it's more pictures. Oh, cash, crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week, Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Confiscate! Totally taking the cash. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> Key. Wish I had this earlier. Y yeah. If I'm unable to control myself. Yeah, it's because I love you, so you know, it makes it okay. Lots of money. Like I call lots of money. Bonus pay for Big B? <laughs> Cash money to Vegas! the handicapped fund. <laughs> Please be the right key. Grab him! Uh, uh, <gasps> Jack! Jack? Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now. Urgh. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! 
Dude, friggin' grab him! Okay! Put him down. You got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. I'd like to keep all my teeth. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? Answer my question! What else do you want me to say? Answer I my question. I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Are you working for Crane? And tell the truth. No, I'm not working for anybody. Just take it easy. <sighs> Don't let no, him know you got a bum this shoulder. Tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I mean, what's the point? I'm investigating. Sure. Don't don't go like interrogating well, me. Looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Don't let him go, dude. Bigby, I believe you're uh blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. This guy's a talker. I he just I talks. Can help you out. Go on. I'm listening. You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Look, I'm not stupid. Big B Wolf comes in here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathemagician, but I know two plus two is five, am I right? I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on, what do you say? Whatever. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. You agreed to a now deal. Tell me where I can find this witch. I, I think he rip. was just, like, Her name is Auntie petty Green. thieving his apartment. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something illegal. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Scout's on her, Sheriff. I was afraid if I didn't make the deal with the him, he wasn't going to tell me anything. I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You've got to be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. If it's full of cash... Oh, it's all this silver. Glam oh, the glamour tube. Evidence. Confiscating. White deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? White deer. The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. Find any more of these? Uh, no. Give them to me. What? You know what. Hand them over. That it? Pick me? Are you still here? Just keep your mouth shut, all right? You're the boss. Who are you talking to? Myself. What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? That's not important right now. But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh. 
What did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleaze ball? <laughs> Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Right now, I honestly don't care. Maybe he did get do it. Guy. I'm starting to think this guy. Yeah. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Hmm. Okay, so Bluebeard did go to D and Dumb's office. Or we could go to the Trip Trap and look in Lily's things. I still think that's the weakest link. We'll go pay office. the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. Probably not I'll be the in best touch. thing with my bum I hope shoulder, we'll do the but... same. We'll catch him, Snow. Oh, man. Hang on, Jack. <laughs> they had the option to punch to him and he didn't take it. Look at him trying to go out the window. Ha ha ha. We don't find out if you can fly. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. What brings you here? Who are you talking to just now? Yourself. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in. Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. I just finished cleaning. What did he take? I don't know what he wanted. I I didn't see what he did after. I'm really sorry, Big B. Aww. This guy's the murderer. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. But then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. <sighs> don't worry about it, flycatcher. Oh, I'm going to get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. They're usually pretty nice, understanding. There's no way they'll be okay with this, though. You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be... thank you. Look, I'm running out of time. Oh, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, uh, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. Ventura Lights, thank you for following. Welcome. Mm. Lie catcher. Hold on a sec, I want to read my new uh, entries. Fly catcher, the frog prince. A former prince turned to a frog by which the friendly, genial fly catcher now carries the nickname as an unsubtle reference to his Propens propensity for catching and eating flies. His wife and their children were brutally murdered back in the homelands, a fact he attempts to deny himself 
by committing to a series of endless tasks and janitorial duties. God! Yeesh! Headless Horseman, the Hessian spirit. Thought to be the spirit of a particularly fearsome, especially macabre German military contractor, the Headless Horseman lost his head from cannon fire during the Revolutionary War. Most famous for hounding Ichabod Crane one night in the woods of Sleepy Hollow, it is rumored that this phantom is only the most recent incarnation of a primordial demon, whose previous forms include a middle-aged chieftain who brandished a whip made from human bone, and a Scottish lord who was decapitated in a fight over shares of lands. Okay, creepy. Right? Where can I get that hat? <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Just, you know what happened. We know what happened. Well, it's how it happened. How'd she want to hear that? Well, can I... Can you what? Can I just, I don't know, wait here for a bit? Until she wakes up. Then? <laughs> <laughs> what do I care? Why do you Read keep doing sign. that? We're closed. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. <laughs> they drank. Friend, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Right? I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Yeah, sure. Thanks. I drank. <laughs> he forgot how to huff and puff. <laughs> I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Shouldn't mix it with shrooms, Friend, man. Really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. He's gonna go full troll. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate? And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for <laughs> in a sec. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here Hi, for Jim. one thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. 
It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Friend, Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. I'm running out of time, Gren. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Fight, 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 fight. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I absolutely cannot babysit you dumbasses right now. <laughs> End whatever this is, so we can just move past it. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. Troll fucker. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out, and you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking you should loser, grant Sheriff? The woods, man. He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh, wait, I have questions. What do you want? When Tweedledee came in here two nights ago, Why'd you run? I was scared, okay? I, I didn't want to go down for something I didn't do. I never would have hurt that girl, Bigby. All right. I, I, ha I have more questions. Gren. I don't know where Lily is. Hi, guys. <sighs> Check Holly's room. I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna <laughs> pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Gwen won't remember this. <laughs> Say red how Holly. She's out. Tap tap. Grab her horns. Things and stuff. <sighs> that 
you, Woody. <sighs> Woody, is that you? No, Holly. It's me, Bigby. Bigby. Bar's closed. And excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. That's right. I do what I want. Oh, red hat. Okay. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. Holly, just because I live in the woodlands doesn't mean I'm not one of your strays. I'm not Crane or Cole. I didn't exactly grow up wearing clothes. Yeah, I know you didn't. Oh. Same one. Why do you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I'm just... I'm tracking a lead. Huh. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's Be a little tube of uh, glamour. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Because Did they murderers. give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Faith. Oh, at least you're honest. You just remember, whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself, I'm counting on you. So don't have any more fuck ups. <laughs> I, I I like the the sleepy troll. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Yeah. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Let's go. Huff and puff. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. 14 right. minutes late. How do you want to do this? Don't, don't kick it down. Listen. Listen. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Glamour. Don't you trust her. Me up. Don't trust her. It's uh, glamour. Sorry about nope. that. Is something wrong? Where's Crane? Is he still here? Hmm? I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. I don't really... Uh... Do you live in the building? Who are you? 
Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. Well, I'm the sheriff, and this is my part. I don't trust that that's the actual little girl for a second. That's the Pleased witch. Nice to meet you. How do you do? I don't trust her for a second. Is there um, Punch her in the is face. There anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? Well, no, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. <laughs> is there uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Well, this has all been thoroughly enlightening, but I'm still gonna have to search the apartment, so step aside, oh, kid. Wait, please! I don't know if I'm allowed! Oh, it's okay. Really. We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been or it's here crane, all night. it could be. Nobody's been here. Could be crane. Okay, Sheriff. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. That your mom? Uh huh. Hmm. Picture on the wall. Could be fake. Could be. Could be. Could no. be. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Dowdy. What's that mean? Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. She's a witch. Wh of course there's going to be weird stuff in her apartment. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Oh. Um... Like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Why is there no one here but you, little girl? I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. Closet door. Butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? See? Where did your mom go? Do you like. How much longer do you think it'll be? She's standing in front of that wood carving table. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. that aftershave of his. I do too. Sir! Bet now, please. Punch her. Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. It's the middle oh, of the no, night and your no, mom's no, please, not home. Please, please, just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. Auntie <laughs> 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 Greenleaf. Knew it. It hurts. 
hurts when you do it that fast. That's what I figured. What? Not sprightly enough? You think we have time to waste on this shit? Think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. A skink? There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, Whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love Die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat. Don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly ear. <laughs> Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Uh... Please, Sheriff. Don't. I don't know! <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> Uh, this 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 witch has been has been playing this game for a long time, and just just now, just now, it's you know someone used it. People, I mean, people can use regular glamours. <sighs> What's in the box? Shave the tree. <laughs> can we just shake it a little and call it a day? Oh man. Burn the witch. Snow is more ruthless than Peachy. I know pause hey, I, I almost never pause it, but I'm really like torn here. Because I don't want to just burn the tree. I I one of the options was I might actually not be able to when I unpause it, I might not be able to even choose anything. I could just stay silent. I say I still say we hire her, she could be useful. Hmm. 
Today's your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's Seriously, if we have a witch on our side? But Bigby! I don't care, Snow. Shut there up. Keep her out of trouble. And, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense, Snow. I don't care, Snow. You, you can be mad at me. You get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? Are moving trucks gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. Yeah, what were we gonna do? Just burn the tree? Right in the apartment. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank you, Umbrin. <laughs> See, I think she's useful. I don't. I don't think we're just okay. Let's burn the tree, shut her down, screw her. I think she's useful. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, did you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Punch him. Uh, yeah. Fucking fuck, man. Tell me what you know now. Crane. She has no. You can't just go in there. Watch me. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... Oh, my God. Big B. Wait, don't. Do it. Oh. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. Clever. Uh, wait, I can't. You have to just give me the chance. This will work. I assure you, everything will be solved. You are a creepy mofo. I, I went to the, you. Damn you, come on. Please. Tell me who killed her! My lips are sealed. Uh... Crane, you're <laughs> pathetic. What is going on? <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But... I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know, that's, that was, I just. Okay, so he. I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't? Love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. This is really uncomfortable. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. Not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much to- Shut up. Don't talk to me. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? <gasps> if you'd seen the room- I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. Well, he's a disgusting pervert who- You know it. You know- You said you found evidence little Snow of White him defrauding fancies. Fable Town. Of using our money for his own ambitions. But that doesn't mean That's he murdered thing. them. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? 
He thought he was being framed. And maybe he is. There's nobody else that's even remotely... He's the prime suspect. There is nobody else. But why? Really? Think about it. Because circumstantial evidence is one thing. And I won't kill a man for that. Everything, everything points to him. Do I have to go down the laundry list? His room, his girl, all his fucking lies. And all of that is perfectly fine, except that there's no real motive. Snow, I... And no evidence that says anything except he was in the same room at some point in time. That, that is true. He embezzled millions from Fabletown, Bigby. That's what I have to care about. And that's enough. I was going to pay all of that back. Snow, why are you defending him? I'm not. I'm defending the order of things, Sheriff. You can hate him. I do. But I want him brought in for what he did to this town, and not killed by you for personal preference. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything Break his nose, no. If I maybe took a little something back in return, and so be it. I have no regrets. I'm gonna stay silent. Except getting I caught. I like any of those options. Right. I keep flopping back and forth on whether I think he did it or not. See, now... I don't know. I, I don't know at this point. I have no idea. I have no idea. I mean, he, 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 like I said, he did the whole Snow White thing. You know, he, he, that was his prostitute thing. But, but why all of a sudden the murders? No, I haven't, Cystic. I mean... Hmm. I mean, I understand. I mean, what Snow is saying is right. I mean, there's obviously incriminating evidence, and he even like admitted, kind of, to to the to the Snow White fantasies, hiring the prostitutes, embezzling. Like he he's still a scumbag. But then he's saying he he didn't murder them. And Snow's saying, yeah, we actually don't have any evidence that he murdered them. We never even really found a murder weapon, did we? And then there's the- yeah, and then there's the- the Tweedles. I'm- no, he's definitely a creepy pervert. Definitely. I don't- man. Oh, that's right, he was paying off a loan shark. Maybe for his his Snow White obsession. The mermaid knows something. Hmm. Nope, nothing's changed, Shady Fox. <sighs> All he ever wanted was a bunch of hookers dressed like Snow White. That's right. Trip Trap Bar, the watering hole, the oldest bar in New York City. The Trip Trap was established in 1725 in secret by Starkhead, the legendary Viking and reprobate, as a place for fables to meet and drink and commiserate. 
Known, known then as the Grammarian's Tavern, he eventually lost in a, it in a bet to a tribe of mountain trolls who quickly renamed it and made it their own. Holly is the current proprietor, having inherited it from her mother when she died in a boating accident in the early 20th century. Auntie Greenleaf, the White Deer. Horticulturist, alchemist, and lover of animals, Auntie Greenleaf is one of the few rogue witches still living outside the 13th floor. Unsupervised and unrestricted, rumored to have lost a daughter in the homelands, she suffers paranoia and depressive mood swings, and will only venture outside at irregular hours under the guise of an ethereal white deer, an oft-whispered sp spectator of Brookhaven natives. Ah, oh, see, yeah, and then there's this, and then there's the witch. Like, I understand what Snow was saying, like, she, you know, she's, she's creating black market glamours. But it might not be her responsibility of what was being done with them afterwards. And I just think she was more useful to us that way, working with us, than just burning her to the ground and leaving her. Glamour tube, the handy disguise. Glamours can be produced in a variety of ways, but one of the most common due to its ease of use is to take a small, hollowed out tube or container and place it within several item within it, several items unique to whomever the caster wants to copy. A witch is required for the re reactionary charm. Two downsides of this type of glamour is that totally unique appearances are completely impossible and the nature of the vessel makes it quite unstable. Exactly, exactly. I assimilated the threat rather than eliminating it. Exactly. Now, whether that com comes back to bite me in the butt, I don't know. The Ring of Dispel, the Arthur Arthurian, Arthurian Band. Reputed to be fashioned by a Byzantine clan in an attempt to ward off a coven of witches, the Ring of Dispel, or Dispelling Ring, or Magic Canceling Ring, eventually was given to Lancelot by the Lady in the Lake. Recovered by the business office after the emigration to New Amsterdam, it was assigned to Greenleaf for caretaking. Okay. Alright, I don't know where this is gonna go. Oh, okay! Stupid girls and their preposterous schemes. What are you saying? by tricking. Is it the Tweedles? Bluebeard? Oh, it's Tweedles. And Bluebeard. What's his face? Who's Hi. this? What you got there? Oh, come on. Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown ups are talking. Guys? Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wh what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? 
Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This is my job. I like my job. This so is about not I none of these people. none of these and are gonna work. If you don't hand over the soft puppet now. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Ugh. Fuck it. Oh god! No, she had silver bullets, didn't she? It was a good show, but you know, you just didn't know when to end. That's the that's the thing, that's the thing that's the that's the hunter's axe. You know, you didn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a <laughs> I'm pushing as hard as I can! I'm pushing as hard as I can! <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. No! No! Wait. She chan took the wheel. <laughs> Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. Get out of here. It's Bluebeard. It's your lucky day, kid. Crooked man oh, says it's okay man. with him. Hello. 
Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomachache? Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Nope, not like your boyfriend. Sure, we'll be in touch. See you around. <laughs> Just a flesh wound. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to... About last night? When people hear what you did to Dom, they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> She's gonna slaughter everybody. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? Oh my gosh. Oh man. This is intense, dude. This is intense, dude. Oh my god. Ah, jeez. Ah. So, did they... Did they kill... Maybe... So now I'm guessing that they're... The, like, they're... They seem obvious as, like, they killed... The, the girls. But why? Did they kill... Obviously, I, I think that the... Crane got the money from the Crooked Man. And he's not paying them back. What did he get the loan for? So they're killing his, his Snow White... Clones? I'm... I... 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 Uh... I don't even know, man. I don't even know, man. Oh. My, my mind is boggled. I have no idea. Holy cow. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was episode three of five. Uh, we're going to be playing one more episode today. I'm going to take a b bit of a break. But holy cow. Did you interrupt Snow's eulogy? You and 80% of players decided not to interrupt Snow. Whoops. Ah. What place did you investigate first? Okay. About equal to go t to the tavern or Ichabod's. Uh, less people decided to go to Tweedle's office. Did you make a deal with Jack? 70% made a deal with Jack. With that, I was scared that if I didn't he wouldn't talk at all, and I wouldn't have even gotten 
the uh, the name of the witch. That's why I made a deal with him. Did you offer Flycatcher a job? You and 96% of players offered a job to Flycatcher. Yay! Did you burn Greenleaf's tree? Wow! 79% of players did not burn the tree. Interesting. Did you kill Tweedledum? 44... I was in the minority. 44% killed Tweedledum. I, I, man, I was channeling my inner Peachy Chan at that point. I was just like, you know what? No, he needs to die. Like, I just... Let's, let's show that we mean business, and I don't care. Oh, man. Oh, man. Can I pause this here? I wanna... Oh, does this just skip it? I, I wanna read the fables that I unlocked. Can I, can I read the fables from the menu here? Oh, man. Here we go, book of fables. I wanna read any new ones that I got. I missed one. Maybe that tree? Maybe if I burned the tree, I would have gotten it or something? Bloody Mary, the urban legend. The true history of the person known as Bloody Mary is almost completely unknown, even to fables most acquainted with its members. Her name, Mary, at least, is not up for contention, nor is her penchant for shocking violence and inlaid resistance to magic, resistance to magic and spells and a strange ability to use any reflective surface as a portal. Skanked him good peachy chan. Skanked him good! Shanked him good! <laughs> Thank you, Dallas. <laughs> yes, yes I did. Uh, ability to use any reflective surface as a portal, effectively shortcutting space and time. Thought by Mundy's to be the wailing apparition of a childless ghost. Though any evidence of that is yet unseen. So she's scary, man. She's scary. 